Hi, it's me, Josephine, and today I'm talking about my three favorite TV shows for little kids. Let's get started. So first I would like to tell you that I do not recommend to put kids in front of TVs for a long time or often. We do this only in very specific moments when there is really nothing else we can do right now and we have nobody to take care of our daughter. We do not have family what is living close enough to help us out. We just don't really have any help. We actually really don't have any help. <laughs> so the TV is for us the if nothing else works and we really need this moment for a phone call or a quick shower or something like that then okay let's do it now but then that's it because a tv is nothing i recommend in general a child needs to move around a child needs movement and to explore the world and the tv is kind of setting the child on pause if, if you would put your child the whole day in front of the tv your child will be awake all night and will not be able to sleep because it has to process everything the child has seen and it did not get to move and there's just missing a lot. And that's why I personally would not recommend that. But I get it. Some people let their kids watch more TV than we do. We think between five minutes and a half hour, that is fine. And everything longer is already something for a very special day. But we don't really like to do that, no. Okay, so what I realized when I was not having kids, I thought, oh my God, there's so many wonderful kids shows, kids movies. And now as a mother, I think, oh my God, this is what they show kids? That is horrible. That is scary. A child gets nightmares from that. Why do you produce things like this and say it's for kids? I know some kids... For them, everything is easy and cool, but other kids, they are very sensitive. And I personally would not want my daughter to see some of those things, most of those things, to be honest. So that's why I'm making this video with my three favorite TV shows, what I let my daughter watch when there is really a moment where I would really need the TV. And so my first favorite is Puffin Rock, and Puffin Rock is very cute. It has this little cute birds and it's just very innocent and nothing bad happens i do not worry when my daughter watches it oh my god what if this bad part comes and i have to press with the remote control forward or anything like that and because there are just no bad parts what are scary and that is something i think whew, i can let her watch that while i take my shower without really thinking about Oh my god, what if this bad part comes? The next one, what we really like for her, is definitely Bluey. Bluey is very funny. So Puff and Rock is on Netflix and Bluey is on Disney+. Plus. At least it's like this in the US. I have realized that Bluey in English is awesome, but Bluey in German is horrible. So if you are watching this and you hear about those TV shows and they are absolutely different in your language, that might be just the translation. Because in the English version of Bluey, it is funny, it is cute, and it has a lot of Waldorfy toys. Like here, this beautiful Waldorf play stand, they have that inside, and a lot of other toys that are wooden and natural, they play a lot outside. And Bluey is a little girl, and she has a little sister, and they are both not like the girly girls with bows in their hair or things like that. They are just normal girls and it is just not a girly girly show. So you can watch that easily with your boys without that. It's like the show Puff and Rock also has two. I think it's both sisters, but I'm not that sure. Actually, this is also a little sister, but I think these are also both girls, but it is really not girly girly. And I like that about both of the shows. That is just both very, yeah, not pushing in any directions. And what I like about Bluey is that it's very modern and it has still some sort of a innocent thing inside. And 
you see things you would do at home probably with your own kids and how funny they play with each other and there is one episode what I really like where the father is sitting there watching with Bluey how the other kids play and they and then Bluey thinks they need help but the father says let's wait and watch and he shows Bluey that if you give others the time to figure something out they can actually do it in their own way not exactly the way you would have thought they would but they figure it out <laughs> things like this and I, I really like that I think that is really a good show and I know a lot of Waldorf inspired parents they love that show and now my absolute favorite is Little Bear Little Bear is nothing than innocent there is also nothing inside what is has anything really to do with technique. It's very, very natural. I have watched that show actually as a little girl in Germany in German. And now my daughter is watching it in English. We also have the book and it is just so cute. So this is a little bear living with his family, mother bear and father bear. And he has a bunch of friends like duck, cat, owl, and a few more and it's very cute and they play outside and they are creative and playing with the imagination and playing out in the nature and it's just very wonderful to watch and it is really nothing else than innocent there was a part in that movie that was scary but the show itself is not scary so i do not recommend if you're not sitting next to your child to watch the movie but the show is really innocent. In the movie, there's this pirate with his wild cat, which tries to eat Ducky. And yeah, I mean, nobody gets hurt, nobody gets eaten, but still, I just did not feel very comfortable with that moment in that movie. Okay, so now you know my three favorite. Let's say it again. It was Puffin Rock and Bluey and Little Bear. I hope this video was a help for you and if you like that video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i would love if you'd leave me a comment down below and let me know your favorite shows for kids and are they also very innocent or are there scary moments inside where you have to press the button to go a little bit forward or are you watching just specific episodes of something? I heard about Daniel Tiger a lot. We also have seen that one. I think it is very cute, but it has some things that I personally do not like because of the way we raise our daughter. But it is also nothing very bad happening in that show. Okay, I wish you a beautiful day and Happy New Year, of course. Goodbye. See you soon.